Welcome back everybody, Boops here, back from Fan Expo. As of recording this video, it's still going on, it's the last day. I went yesterday, for just one day, and it was my first time going. So in this video, I thought I would share with you guys my experience, um, my pickups and haul of goodies. And we'll take a look at my 3DS and see if I met anyone through Street Pass. Because I heard that's a big thing at these larger conventions. So sit back, relax, and I hope you enjoy the video. Let's get started. So as I already mentioned, this is my first time going to Fan Expo. I've heard a lot of good things about it. And I decided to finally go there myself. Getting there and getting inside was a little overwhelming. Uh, but it soon became overwhelmingly amazing. There was so much cool things to look at. So many people dressed up. There was just things happening everywhere. I, I didn't even know how to dissect the whole area and take everything in. We mainly ended up moving between the two main floors, which has uh, mostly all the shops and merchandise to buy. There were a bunch of events happening in the side rooms, but we did not schedule very well to attend any of them. We mostly spent the whole day just looking through what's on the floor, and I don't think we even got to look at everything. On the one floor, there's also the area where they have everyone who gives out signatures, and there's also some photo ops. We got to see Peter Collin, the voice of Optimus Prime, doing signatures, as well as Kathleen Hurls? Hurleys? Not sure how to pronounce it, but the voice of Dora the Explorer. I thought that was super neat to see. We witnessed a lightsaber battle. The Jedi start off strong, but the Sith are pushing them back. Also, some part into the day, the fire alarm started going off. I think it was on for like 20 minutes, half an hour maybe. And when it finally turned off, you could hear the entire convention center cheering. <laughs> it was hilarious. There was a lot of promotional booths, like PlayStation with their new Spider-Man game, and their Twisted Metal movie. There was a bunch of Star Wars for the new Star Wars series. Outside on one of our smoke breaks, we got to see a bunch of dark hooded mysterious figures um, promoting the new movie, The Nun 2. Bell had a little tournament going on, which was quite exciting, and you also got to see the commentators performing on the right-hand side, which I was almost more interested in than the actual uh, players themselves. There were a lot of people dressed up in costumes, including a lot of photo opportunities in, say, a Star Wars environment. They had some cars that had, like, a full uh, wrap on them, usually an anime-style wrap. And I got a picture with R2-D2. And if anybody knows how, how this R2-D2 unit works, he was moving around and could identify where everyone was standing and he could pose for pictures with you. But I, nowhere in sight could I see someone controlling him or, you know, a camera system that would be assisting him. I guess it could be just all autonomous at this point, 2023 but that just kind of blew me away. So yeah, there was way too much to do in just one day. I understand why people go for a whole weekend. Besides the fact that today I can barely walk. I haven't walked so much in one day in forever. We'll go ahead and we'll start with the pickups from the event. We'll start with your souvenir badge, they call it, but I guess the lanyard is really the only souvenir. We got the Mario style Fan Expo Canada linyard, your little badge, I believe it has an advertisement for a show or movie or something I'm not aware of. <laughs> There's the back. So yeah, really nice lanyard. They had a table there with exclusive items from Fan Expo. This was one of those exclusive items. It got a bit better. They had figures, comic books, stuff like that. But this is, I guess, the exclusive Fan Expo merchandise I got. <laughs> First thing I spotted 
when I got there was Digimon. Next to the Pokemon Gym Badges, they had these Digimon Crests. I feel like I've seen this maybe once or twice in the past, but not in person, so I had to grab this. I think this is really cool. These are the Crests of like Friendship, Courage, all that from Digimon. They needed these to help their Digimon evolve past the Ultimate form or Champion form. And the crests are interchangeable with the little necklace here. They also give you a chain. So you can actually wear it like a necklace. And yeah, you can just pop them all in. Super nice. You don't see enough Digimon merch. I understand why, but I just, I love to see it. This is super cool. So those are the Digimon crests. In a nice box. We have more Digimon, but I'm going to kind of go in order of what I got. That just makes the most sense to me. Um, one of the next things I spotted was this. This is the Gundam Force set two of these little minifigures. And the reason I got this was because I remember playing with these as a kid. I knew very little about Gundam Force, or Gundams in general. Um, I think I watched like one anime, maybe a dozen episodes, just randomly, you know, here and there, over time. But I, I really remember these figures and playing with them. And I do have them somewhere in a plastic bag. I could probably find them. Um, but yeah, I thought this was so funny to just see, you know, fully... Fully new, not the best quality, but super dope. Brings back a lot of memories, nostalgia. Had to get that. Oh, true, we should probably put our Digimon stuff back there. Then we got the only TCG, I guess you could say I got, and that's the... Oh, this is the... It's not even Wise Swords. This is Bandai Namco. All Alive. 35th anniversary. Huh. In 2016, I believe? We got some of these smaller Hall Alive packs. I don't think they have too many cards in them. Maybe just one or two. I thought that was really cool. I've watched a couple of these streamers before. Like Botan right down here. We have Pico and Fubu. Super dope. I'm curious what's inside. I'll probably open those. These you can kind of find anywhere, but because I was there, I decided to get them. We got two different wands. Here, as you can see, we have Professor Snape's. Wow, and he just hid the whole wand from us. There's his wand. See if we have enough room here. Show you guys. Very nice design on the hilt. Super basic. But I mean, it's Snape's wand. I think it's really cool. And then we also have McGonagall's wand. Show you guys that. It's a really nice wand. This one I think I might give to my sister. I got my mom and dad a couple of gifts. I got my mom a Star Trek uh, designed cutting board. And I got my dad um, some Godfather merchandise. So there were a couple of locations with like huge selection of games to look at. Um, but I didn't really feel like spending a lot of time looking through the games, so I looked through them briefly, and the one that came or stood out to me um, was Ground Zero Texas on the Sega CD. I'll show you guys some gameplay in a second. I'm pretty sure I've seen Angry Video Game Nerd do a video about this. South Texas, 
on the U.S.-Mexican border, people have begun to disappear. Individuals, families, gone without a trace. All humanity is in danger. And this small Texas town sits at ground zero. The reason it stands out to me is because it's a full motion video game <laughs> uh, where I believe you just point and click on the enemies that pop out and you gotta like shoot them or whatever and avoid, you know, the good guys. But yeah, it's a full motion video, the Sega CD, which I own, it actually comes in two discs, which is kind of crazy. Um, I mean, I guess it is a full motion video, so it needs all the space. If you follow me, you've seen in my past videos, I found some, um, some of that gold Pokemon money. This time I found, I found a lot of variations of this money, but I got some of the Star Wars ones. On Solo and Darth Vader. Looks really cool. There's the back. I'm pretty sure they're both the same. Yes. There's the back. Really nice. And finally, the last Digimon item I found was the stuffed Pegasus Mon. It's going to be hard to show him because he's so big. But you get the idea. <laughs> Pretty big Digimon plushie. You don't see Digimon plushies very often. It's quite detailed with all the many parts. His wings have that kind of wire frame, so you can pose them any way you want. They had two other Digimon figures, Gaussmon and... I forget the name of the other one, but I'll put a picture up. And of course, I had to go for Pegasusmon. Because it's, uh, it's Patamon's armor Digivolution. So... Yeah. So that's all the pickups there. Um, I didn't go like too hard, but I tried to get a little bit of everything, I guess. Um, especially stuff they don't regularly see. We're almost done the video. There is one more thing I would like to share with you guys. I haven't even looked at it myself yet, so I'm curious if we even got any. Well, let's take a look at my 3DS and see if we met anybody new using the Street Pass feature. Let me just clear everything off, and we'll do that. All right, we got the DS out. Recording. Mute the audio because it's playing Splatoon. Copywritten. Uh, Street Plaza. I keep down here. Open it up. I noticed it gives me a warning. And now I haven't used Street Plaza. Like, I've used Street Plaza once or twice, so I'm not sure exactly what this warning is. But from what I can understand, I think it's because I met somebody new. So let's go to the Plaza Gate. Let's do that. We'll see if there's anybody new there waiting for us. Okay, well, there's one person. We met Joseph from Ontario. Hey, stay happy. That's what he says to us. I forget what my uh, my intro little blurb is. New region, okay. Nice. Husbando from Ontario. Nice to meet you. Howdy. John from Saskatchewan. 3DS forever. Let's go. I wonder if he came from Saskatchewan just for Fan Expo. That'd be dope. Nice, new region. So that's three people we met at Fan Expo so far. <laughs> okay, keeps going. From New Jersey. Howdy. Simone. Huh. I wonder if they came all the way from New Jersey just for this. New country, nice. United States, New Jersey. Ooh. I'm Enns. From Ontario. Korwa, Gundam. That's really cool. That's, that's a, what is this, five people? I'm Gundam from Ontario. It's a Gundam. Oh, no. I'm Alena. Alena? Wow. I butchered that. From Ontario. Behind you. <laughs> Man, I did not expect to have that. <laughs> it just keeps going to have this many. I'm Braden from Ontario. It's Big Zam. I'm Dan. What? The oh my goodness. I'm Eddie. Hello? Okay. And that's it. I, I lost count. I wonder. It's, it's going to tell us probably, but 
Wow. You're tagged people with street pass 10 times, which I think might be the limit, actually. And then you have to, like, click on them and do stuff, and then you can do more. Um, so it's quite possible that there was more than 10 people with their 3DSs there. But that is super cool. I heard this was a thing. I didn't know how much of a thing this really was, but yeah, this is definitely a thing. Oh, and that's what they're playing, I guess, most recently? How we just came down for the end of the video, I gotta protect Pegasus Mon from him, because he'll want to play with him, and how he destroys everything. <laughs> Howie. So that's been my experience with Fan Expo. First time ever going. I hope you guys learned something new. I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope this video possibly encouraged you to go yourself. It's super fun. You won't regret it. Get ready for some barking. Howie. Thank you everybody for watching. I'm Boops. And I'll see you in the next one. Howie!